Hello students of class 11. Uh, in the first uh, two parts we have seen uh, that uh, Sir Mohan is waiting in a first class waiting room and uh, that uh, he hates his own um, people uh, as well as um, his own means he does not like anything that is Indian uh, his wife is also traveling with him but uh, she travels separately his wife is a very typical woman uh, with um, who and she is a very down to earth person uh, she loves talking to people uh, she wears um, she's not very careful about his means um, about her uh, dressing sense because she wears a dirty white sari but uh, she wears a lot of jewelries there is a diamond nose ring then gold bangles in that way and uh, she also tells us that why she travels zanana she doesn't um, she um, speaks very high of his uh, means uh, she speaks very high of her um, husband and says that he is a vizier and a barrister and meets many english people in the trains uh, she doesn't know english and uh, not very much uh, means uh, habituated to their ways so she keeps to the zanana compartment lashmi chatted away merrily she was fond of a little gossip and had no one to talk to at home her husband never had any time to spare for her she lived in the upper story of the house and he on the ground floor he did not like her poor illiterate relatives hanging around his bungalow so they never came he came up to her once in a while at night and stayed uh, for a few minutes he just ordered her about in anglicized hindustani and she obeyed passively these nocturnal visits had however borne no fruit so uh, we find that uh, uh, lashmi is a, a lady uh, who loves speaking talking to people and uh, she's uh, in, uh, she does not she is not bothered about any sort of class difference um, one reason is that uh, she doesn't anybody she doesn't have anybody at home to talk to because uh, she's completely ignored by her husband uh, she lives in the upper story and husband lives in the ground floor and um, uh, even her husband doesn't like uh, her relatives uh, as they are illiterate coming to his house so uh, nobody visits her and uh, none of her relatives uh, visit her and uh, apart from that sometimes sir mohan uh, uh, you know comes and spends a few minutes with her um, but uh, what he does is uh, he just goes on ordering in anglicized hindustani anglicized means uh, he speaks uh, in a way um, an Englishman would speak Hindustani and uh, we can also understand that uh, speaking anglicized Hindustani shows that uh, he is quite ashamed to speak his own mother tongue and another thing we come to know that uh, they have no children the signal came down and the clanging of the bell announced the approaching train. Lady Lal hurriedly finished off her meal. She got up, still licking the stone of the pickled mango. She emitted a loud, long, loud belch as she went to the public tap to rinse her mouth and wash her hands. After washing, she dried her mouth and hands with the loose end of her sari and walked back to a still steel trunk, belching and thanking the gods for the favoring of a filling meal. So uh, we find that um, 
you know as soon as they heard the sound of the bell um, it uh, announced the approaching train and uh, before that uh, we have seen that lady lal was having uh, finishing off her tiffin so she was having cramp chapatis with uh, some pickle so she you know ate it up very fast and uh, after eating it was quite satisfying for her so she emitted a loud belch you know sometimes um, uh, it is not um, you know belching is bad manner bad thing with manners um, but sometimes we also do it when we have a very uh, fulfilling meal uh, so she gave out a lot a belch belch is something you know uh, burping and that way generally we do with children okay very uh, little children we put them on the back and as uh, so long as they don't burp we keep on patting them on the back so that they burp so that is what is belching so uh, she emitted a loud belch um, and she went to the tap to uh, wash her mouth and her hands and then she wiped her face uh, with the uh, loose end of her sari very typical um of such women and um, she also uh, came back and uh, she sat on the steel trunk and she also thanked god uh, for her fulfilling me and she kept on in uh, belching <clears throat> the train steamed in that is it entered the platform lakshmi found herself facing an almost empty zenana class comp uh, empty inter class zenana compartment next to the guards van at the tail end of the train the rest of the train was packed she heaved her squat squat bulky figure through the door and found a seat by the window she produced a 2 anna bit from the knot of her sari and dismissed the pool she then opened her beetle case and made herself two beetle leaves charged with red and white paste minced with beetle nuts and cardamoms these she thrust into her mouth till her cheeks bulged on both sides then she rested her chin on her hands and sat gazing idly at the jostling crowd on the platform so when the train came and the point when she, where she was standing uh, she found that it, the zenana compartment was uh, empty so since she was short and fat she somehow managed to uh, enter through the door and she uh, got a seat uh, a window seat and uh, <clears throat> what did she do she gave a two anna uh, coin uh, to the coolie and uh, sent him off and then she took out his sorry took out her beetle case and uh, she made that pound uh, with uh, this uh, red and white paste um uh, uh white paste is as we in bengali we call chu and uh, minced beetle nuts beetel nuts is uh, uh, no uh, supari as we call it um and cardamoms cardamoms you know so she made that uh, beetle leaf and she put it inside her mouth and um, she kept on chewing it till her uh, cheeks bulged you know it was full of that um, uh, that uh, dribble you know that red dribble so um and you know she and she was her mouth was full and she was waiting to you know spit it off but on both sides she rested then she rested her chin uh, on her hands and she get um, she was you know looking at the crowd which was uh, you know jostling jostling is pushing about uh, trying to enter the means trying to board the train we stop here today we will do the rest of it in the next class thank you